Tattoo inks and permanent makeup are a mix of several chemicals that can stay in your body for life. One in four Europeans have them, yet little is known about the consequences of using these chemicals in tattoo inks and permanent makeup. There are possible infections related to the lack of hygiene. The second problem that we have is a so-called tattoo allergy, which means that one color of the tattoo becomes inflamed. We need to know what can we allow in the, in the tattoo ink and what can we forbid. The biggest problem is the China colors. They import a lot of colors in the European Union and, uh, and people use them and they don't know what is inside in the bottles. That's really dangerous. Uh, in Europe we have laboratories that are testing the inks. They have a list of products which are forbidden. If any of these forbidden product is present, the ink is immediately withdrawn from the market. Every tattoo artist wants to do the best tattoos and uh, if you're using good colors, you get the good quality in the tattoos also. Since little is known about the effects of the substances in tattoo inks, the European Chemicals Agency has assessed the risks and examined the need for EU-wide restrictions on their use. ECHA's proposal covers about 4,000 substances. These substances are covered uh, in other legislations where they're banned for use on the skin and of course then we don't want them to be injected under the skin. We considered how much it will cost the tattoo industry and society as a whole to comply and whether these costs can be balanced out with positive effects to our health. In the EU, 7 out of the 28 member states have national legislation on tattoo inks. We are trying to make uh, the current national legislation harmonised across the EU. This restriction will lead to fewer cases of allergic reactions, as well as lower the exposure to substances injected in our skin, which may cause cancer or negative effects on the reproductive system. The proposed restriction will bring safer inks, but at what cost to the growing tattoo industry? The costs of the restriction would be primarily associated with replacing all substances in our proposal with less harmful ones. If there is a, something that is the base of the tattoo ink and we withdraw it, then the tattoo manufacturer will not be able to produce ink of quality. The other risk is that the price of the tattoo inks increases because of the manufacturing cost or because, because there will be some other uh, rules to respect. By the end of 2018, ECA's scientific committees will form their opinion. It will be sent to the European Commission, who will prepare a draft decision for the member states to vote on. We have started a public consultation in December that runs to June, and we're very interested in your opinions on it. Either positive or negative, it will be taken into account when we um, look at the proposal in more detail. You can join the public consultation and find more information at eka.europa.eu.